afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Thursday, October 8th. I'm Lily, and this is my co-host, Allison. Thanks for joining us today. Let's start off today's show by making a trip down to the South Guard English Hall. The students had a special glow party last Friday. Sounds like they had an awesome time. Let's find out more. Hi, I'm here with me and Addison, and why are you doing the glow party? We're doing the glow party because we were able to finish our personal narratives, and it was a reward. What are y'all doing in class? We're reading the book crossover and taking annotations and, like, vocabulary. What she said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for the interview. I'll bet that was fun. We'll be right back after these messages. Hey, PDA is not okay. Welcome back to Tiger Vision News. Our twirlers and trailers might also have a big event coming up soon. They'll help get to perform in our first ever pep rally. Let's go hear about that progress. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Wilfin. What are we? When are we thinking we might be able to have a pep rally again? Uh, we'd like to have a pep rally as soon as possible. Um, we want to be able to celebrate. Uh, one thing that we're having to look at is it has to be outside, and so um, with it being outside, we have to go to the stadium. And so, but there's some things that we have to, um, you know, with COVID policies and all that kind of stuff. Like, for example. Uh, the city of Lubbock has to approve a gathering, outside gathering, and so we have to go through the approval process with that. And now we're getting into the time of year where weather is kind of a factor, and so we're trying to, if we can, put it together as quickly as possible, uh, but we got to pay attention to the weather and everything like that and make sure that everything is approved like it's supposed to be approved. And if we were to have a pep rally, will we have it at the big field or at our field? We would have it at our stadium, um, our FMS stadium where the field house is, um, and, and we play our our majority of our home games there. Thank you. Now let's check in with Emily and see what's going on in our weather forecast. Hi, I'm Emily here with your current conditions today. 79 degrees, zero chance of rain. It'll be hot in our area. Highs in the 90s the next three days, but cooler on Monday and Tuesday. I'm Emily with the weather. Back to you. Thanks, Emily. Now it's time to find out what's going on in sports. Hello from my sports fans, I'm Turkey, and this is my co-host Cameron, and this is a look at today's sports. The girls' volleyball team plays Terra Vista tonight. They're ready to put a smackdown on them Tigers. Take a look. Hi, I'm Marion with Coach Austin. Tell us about the past week's volleyball games. How did the girls do? Last week, the girls played Heritage. Um, both 7th grade A and 7th grade B won their games. And then 8th grade B and 8th grade A lost, but 8th grade A put up a great fight and they went to three sets. When are the next games? Our next games are this Thursday and we'll be playing at the Tiger Pit against Terra Vista. So if some of your friends have extra vouchers, you can get some of their vouchers and you can come to the game. When do the games start? The games are at 5.30 and 6.30 p.m. Thank you. Hi, I'm McKinley here with Addie. What sport do you play? Volleyball. What position do you play? Setter. What is the most exciting thing about FMS Volleyball this year? Playing with my friends. Thank you. Try and go watch and help cheer the girls to victory. Now let's take a look at tennis. Members of the tennis B team play Cooper today. Our tennis players are excited to hit the courts and show the Cougars how to play tennis. All matches are played over at the high school. That's a look at today's sports. Back, Back to you. you! That's all we have for today. Everyone have a great afternoon. We'll see you later. Until then, Tigers. Bye.